What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the alternator out on your first generation Toyota Highlander. If you guys are new to this channel, please give it, um, or actually subscribe and check out my other videos. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is whenever you're working on electrical, go ahead and loosen the negative lead of our battery terminal and disconnect that. Okay, so our alternator is over here on the left side. So you can go ahead and get your alternator and your battery tested at like a local auto store so you know which one for sure. But I know this one's bad, so the alternator's right here on the left hand side. And there's a couple leads we are going to have to disconnect first. This one right here on the top. Just remove the cover and there is a 10 millimeter so we'll go ahead and loosen up this we'll take that nut off and then that lead will come right off we'll set that aside then right next to it there is another set of wires here and that's just a clip so you just squeeze on the left and the right side there's two little tabs and pull that up so first one we're going to do is a 14 millimeter and it's right down here sorry i'm kind of battling the light but <sighs> Loosen that up, we'll loosen that all the way. We'll take that long sucker all the way out. All right, now we're gonna loosen these two down here. It's kind of hard to see, but this one is the lock for the tensioner right here. These two 12 millimeter bolts, this top one I'm loosening right now with the ratchet is the tensioner. That's gonna relieve the tension from the belt, let us slip it over. Uh, it's kind of hard to get into these little spaces, but uh, do yourself a favor and spray these down with some WD-40 beforehand. That'll help loosen them up. So I can now slide the belt off. Now I can take that lower 12 millimeter all the way out. Now I should be able to lift the whole alternator out. Just give it a nice little wiggle. All right, so it takes some doing to get out, kind of to wiggle it out. But all right, I'm going to go and take this and get a new one now. All right, I went ahead and took the old one into my local auto parts store and they tested it. It was the original, so it's bad. I got a new one. Okay, let's finagle this thing down into this rat's nest and line it up. Hold on just a second. All right, so I got it slipped down under. Now we're going to take that big 14 millimeter and we're going to slip it in. Okay, so we'll tighten that one down, but we're going to leave it a little loose until we get the tension set. Now we'll go ahead and slip our belt back over the pulley making sure it's on the other two pulleys and this is a good time to go ahead and check your belt if it hasn't been changed in a while you should probably go ahead and just change that or if it has any cracks in it or anything all right now we'll slip that 12 millimeter on the tensioner on the side back in and screw that down all right now after we got that one on the side tightened down but not all the way tight we want it loose a little bit so we can still tension it we'll take the 12 and we're going to tension down the belt now after what seems like forever tightening that tensioner bolt you're gonna want it around 12 foot pounds of uh, torque I can't really get a torque wrench on it now to set the correct tension on the belt you're gonna want to be able to twist the belt just 90 degrees like this you shouldn't be able to twist it all the way around or it shouldn't be too tight that you can't even get it to that 90 degrees or also you can do a deflection test where you press down on the middle run of the longest part of the belt between the pulleys. I went ahead and marked a couple of marks right here. It should be about quarter inch to half inch of downward play. And it was about, just about three eighths I measured. So that's perfect. And also when you start it up, it shouldn't be making any noise or squealing like it's slipping on the pulleys. Okay, now we'll take our torque wrench and put it on that side bolt and we will torque this one down to 13 pounds to lock it in place. Then we will torque this top one to 43 foot pounds of torque. There we go. Now we will connect this lead to the top with that 10 millimeter on the top. Tighten that down good and tight. Then we'll clip that connector back on. Connect the negative lead of our battery terminal and tighten that down. Now we'll take our uh, multimeter and we'll put the black one on the negative and the red one on the positive. And our voltage should be right around 12. And um, when we go ahead and start the car to make sure the alternator is working, uh, it should jump up to around 13 and a half to 15. Okay, hopefully it starts. Come on, baby. All right, it started up. That's first good sign. 
and now the voltage should be running around 13 and a half to 15 perfect so now we know the alternator is charging the battery nice and quiet and that's it guys that's how to change the alternator hopefully you guys like this video uh, do me a favor and subscribe and click the bell so you can get all the notifications alright guys thanks for watching Johnny DIY keep on doing it yourself take care